It was recently brought to my attention that there was something happening in the astronomical field that this year that didn't happen for many years, 400 years to be exact, actually 800 years since it happened at night when you could actually see it. If you haven't heard or hadn't seen this over the past uh, couple of days, Jupiter and Saturn uh, will be coming extremely close to one another from our vantage point. Uh, this phenomenon has been referred to as the Christmas star, the Bethlehem star. Started about a week or so ago, but it culminated on December 21st. If you look to the southwest horizon right after sun, sunset, you will see these two planets almost form a unified star. I'm sure you could still see it tonight if the skies were clear. Well, this got me thinking about the Christmas story and about the ones who, who followed a star to find Jesus in Bethlehem. These magi saw the star remembered the prophecy, and then followed the direction until they arrived and worshipped Jesus. What were they looking for? What did they expect to find when they reached their destination? Of course, I also wonder if they were surprised, if they expected something else. However, I do know this. The star brought them to the Son of God, just what they needed at that time. And now... It is the end of 2020, a year full of twists and turns, a year full of loss, pain, and fear. All of a sudden, this news comes of the special star, and we wonder what this could mean. Is this just a normal, cyclical, astronomical event? Is this a chance encounter, or is this a message from God? Maybe this is just what we need in just this time. With everything we face this year, the changes we've endured and the losses we've encountered, maybe we need a little Christmas miracle. Maybe we need this message of God's great love for us and all of creation to let us know that regardless of what tomorrow brings, God is still in control. We can trust him for he is steadfast. One last observation. While this phenomenon lasted for a few weeks, it culminated on December 21st. Now, if you don't know the significance of that, let me tell you that the 21st is the winter solstice. This is the date with the longest night. After this date, the nights begin to get shorter. On the longest night, we receive this gift of this Christmas star at a time when we need the gift more than ever. We are reminded about the prophecy from Isaiah 9, verse 2. The people walking in darkness have seen a great light. On those living in the land of the shadow of death, a light has dawned. It is always darkest before dawn, but the light is coming. It may seem like we've been in a long, dark winter already, but hope is coming. Can you see it? Jesus Christ, the light of the world, has come, and we have hope. Amen. From the Field Journal, December 23rd, Christmas Eve Eve.